Okay, mate. So I am Bloodthirsty Lord. Welcome to Lordy. And so we're back in action. Playing some Texas Chainsaw Mask Massacre. Should be quite fun indeed. I just woke up, so I might be tired. Just by a bit. And full of energy because of coffee. And game subs. At the same time, I took two. Deuce. You know? Both at the same time. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm caffeinated as hell. <laughs> Is this too much caffeine? It might be too much caffeine. But look. I needed energy. I needed it. Coffee and game subs at the same time. Maybe not the best idea. Hope those streams are working on both sides. Twitch has a bit of an error message, but it looks like it's pretty good. Because usually I have too much bitrate going towards the stream, so usually high bitrate. But hi to all mates. Hopefully everyone's doing well and swell. In the chat, I'd love to know. In the chat, how's everyone doing? I'd love to know. Hey, Bivin, how you doing? The, the link's already in the chat. Love to see it. Uh, Gavin, how you doing? Andrew, how you doing? Jay, how you going? B, how you going? Bevan, of course, how you doing? And also the mates on Twitch. Toaster with the, the style points today in the Discord, that's for sure. <laughs> Rocket the new merch. Love to see it. Thank you, Toaster, for that. And you look great. Absolutely great in the new merch. I'm glad that you think it's comfy as well and you enjoyed it. So make sure that if you want to buy merch and be uh, support the channel in any way possible, visit the website, double check it, enjoy it. B, you know how you doing? Amen, how you doing? And B, once again on Twitch. Both platforms. Insane, insane, insane. Okay, so, uh, hey, Lucky, you on? Valentine, how you doing? Merchless, how you doing? I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Pushing through, as we do. Because right now, we're, we're at this, like, point that's kind of interesting. There's a lot of new games coming out. And, obviously, I play games because I enjoy them. And new games are always going to be played on the channel no matter what. So, uh, the question I was going to ask, when is the new content coming to this game? Because there's nothing. It feels really, really stale. And... Uh, the only issue I have with that is because I've had 300 hours. Yes, that's maybe not normal for someone to have 300 hours that quickly. But even at 100 hours, which I'm, I'm guessing many people that play the game till this day have 100 hours easily, have reached the point of like, when is new stuff coming out? Because we want something different. We don't want to play the same three maps. We want to play something different. We want to have a bit of fun. So today, I'm trying to make it much more interesting by using new perks. Perks that I have never used properly. Why not consider them today and utilize them? Well... The stream for the mates to know what these perks do. Yeah, there's Lords of the Fallen. I'm trying to get in contact with, with them. Lords of the Fallen should, should be out October 13th. I would love to be part of anything earlier than that. So we'll find out. So we can have some time for Spider-Man 2 lead up. So that's something interesting. We'll find out. Because I, I do want to cover Spider-Man 2 and Lords of the Fallen. Possibly. Possibly. I'm like really interested in both those games. But it just depends how things go. So we'll figure it out. Um... Because I like multiplayer games. That's just how I always play. I play multiplayer games. It's just easy for me. It's easy. Because in a single player game, you have to invest yourself. And you have to really focus on the story and enjoy it. And then grind out the whole game just for builds, you know? So that's something that uh, if I had the game early, it would be much easier to grind the game quickly for builds. Uh, which would be much more interesting for the mates to see than just walkthroughs, in my opinion. Um, alongside that, we have a couple of perks that I want to try to test out. There's perks I just have never tested in the game. Or I just haven't cared for in the game. So maybe this is the time we actually go through them and figure out what the perks are and how useful they are in gameplay benefits as well. So that's the idea for this stream. Just have some fun playing some conning, get her to level three at the same time while upgrading some perks. So I thought it was a great idea. So let's try and figure out this uh, perks that we want to utilize. There's obviously the meta perks like Slippery, Extra Drip, Bomb Squad. Everyone knows what that does. It feels like going over this would be kind of useless. So... That's something you mind. Thank you for making my sissy a poison goddess. I'm glad to do that. I'm glad to do that throne. <laughs> so the charm points are going to be uh, be for me and when to redeem them. Yes, that'll be interesting. Um, since crossplay is back on, we should we set up an event? Uh, B, we can set up like a even if it's like half an hour. We all play custom games for like uh, two matches, three around that. Maybe two matches. Maybe two matches with a whole bunch of mates and. We can get some of the mates from Twitch that are subscribers and also some of the mates that are on YouTube as members and make the experience fun. I think it's a good idea. I might uh, put up a new ch uh, a chat channel in Discord. We'll find out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I think it'd be a good idea. Love videos. Thank you. Thank you. Brittany, that means a lot. I've upgraded every single ability for everyone in the game. That was the first thing. I feel like I need to gr needed to grind out. Yes, of course. The abilities are the first thing you want to grind out in this game. Like, level is indicative of how much hours you put into the game. But the one thing you want to grind out is this tree. Just so you have everybody at an optimal level. Is it necessary? 
Not really, but that is the sense of progression that we have in this game, game sadly. There's nothing else that gives you a crazier sense of prog progression. Yes, Toast, I saw it, Toast, I saw it. <laughs> you did get the B-Tail show, Pog. <laughs> we'll talk about the very start of the stream. I don't know if you heard it, but it was absolutely amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you for the support. You look great in it as well. I'm glad you thought it was comfy and you vibe with it. I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. Uh, so you would just uh, let me pick a few people to play some games with. Oh, we can do that too. You could do that as well. We could just play like, um, instead of playing custom games, we could just play pubs together. Uh, B. That could be a possibility too. That's not a bad idea. Should we do that? Some point, the, you can even redeem it today if you want to. Uh, we'll go through some point of the day. Uh, we'll play for around two hours or so. So maybe around that time, we'll do something and then we'll play three matches. Let me just get some content first. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, okay, doing abilities before we just have fun. Because having fun is one thing, uh, doing content is a completely different thing. <laughs> Five games? <laughs> uh, only two hours. Jesus. We'll, we'll find out, we'll find out, we'll find out. Technically, the initial, the initial idea for this was like, uh, an event where we go to a community space and we have everybody join in. We play for like one or two matches and that's pretty much it. So obviously, I think B's the first person to reach the, the child point limit. So we're going to try and figure out something and just have fun more than anything. Either way, we'll be playing games together. And that's the most important part. You got me a lot, man. I'm glad to see that dark. Have you ever tried rubber boots on low face? It's amazing. No, I have not. I've actually uh, talked about it in a bad way. Always. We'll find out. We'll find out. You play the new Spider-Man game? Yes, I think so. So let's see what we can do. Uh, do you have to tap or let the button um, push? Wait. No, dash is... Uh, you spam it. Spam dash, Captain. Spam it. Make it work. Hey, Aiden on Twitch. How you doing? You spam it and it works. Blood, sweat, tears to get that 50k. I know, V. You've been here like every day. Love to hear it, though. I love to hear it. This boy's been unreal. Yeah, rubber boots will, will be something we can test out for a troll game, hopefully. Um, let me see. I think the first perk I want to use is Deadbolt. I'm kind of cool with these perks because usually Slippery and Deadbolt work hand in hand because you go through a gap to latch a door in some way. And when you latch the door, you have freedom to open the next door, aka gas station, for, for example, and be able to escape. So maybe this is the play for the build. We could double check into it. We could get rid of Jumpstart and just put uh, Choose Flight, which will guarantee us more benefits in those moments when we need a clutch. We have two bars. Well, jump. Start would help out a bit, but maybe not the best. But we'll see, we'll see. So that's one of the perks I want to try today, Deadbolt. Let's have a bit of fun with that. It should be kind of easy to use Deadbolt into gameplay. There's some of the standard perks, like after locking door, this is useless to me. These are all the first level perks. Anything that was like level one, I ain't going to use it. Because it doesn't really help. And it's not that interesting. So we'll use Deadbolt. Maybe have a game with this Sabotar uh, perk. Uh, after using a generator or fuse box, the interaction cooldown for family. This is really good. So this would work in the new patch against... See how this had a fuse box always on it? This is the perk. I made... Didn't I tell you? You got the merch? Aiden as well? Damn. I'll double check into it. I'll double check into it. I'll uh, approve the order after this stream. Glad to hear that. If you're purchasing the merch in any way, hoodies, shirts, whatever it may be, support the channel. It means the world. It truly does. I'm glad to hear that. Use your bills there, OP. Thank you. Thank you. Also, with uh, this perk here, this perk was the, in the, the element I did talk about in the very start of Texas, that fuse box had a cooldown. And I couldn't tell you what the cooldown was at all, but I think they just added the cooldown into the game, which then works with this perk completely. Re uh, increasing that uh, interaction by 30 seconds is insane. Imagine a family member wasting their time trying to press the button and they can't do anything. So this perk's kind of like somewhat meta, but no one knows about it, I feel like. So that's cool. We may have to talk about this one with the current updates. So it works out pretty well. Then after that, there's like these perks here. I ain't going to use that shit. That, 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 that's dog shit. We ain't using that. So we use their bolt for the first match and we'll have some fun there. And just jump into some matches, get some content, get a couple of wins, have a lot of fun. And that's the most important part. Let's jump into it. Have they said when the new maps and characters coming out? No, Ghost. They have not said anything. Max, we're just using new perks, like perks that we've never used before. And that's the idea. Because we had all the meta builds, we had all the best builds in the game. Now let's get into the more the niche stuff. The things that many people don't even consider to be a perk in the game because they've never seen it. They don't know about it. So let's enjoy it. And talk about it as we go through this stream. So yeah, we'll go through everything. I was hoping to release the content for the new characters during this month. 
it makes so much more sense this month to, to release instead of delaying it. Well, we got a sweaty ass game. Can you do some Leland gameplay? Possibly. I think we had a Leland gameplay release yesterday, didn't I? I swear I did. I released the gameplay on the channel for Leland. If you haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. Well, this is a stacked ass lobby. I can tell this is hella stacked. This is gonna be sweaty. This is gonna be sweaty. So let's talk about our build on Connie. So everything looks somewhat identical to any type of meta build that we showcased in the past for these characters. Endurance is pretty high, proficiency is high as well. The skill attributes for the character, the main ability lead like this, you can change it any way you want. It doesn't matter, it's more preference than anything. With Connie, then you have jump start, you have slippery for that extra movement capability on your character. But one of the new perks I haven't used in the game, and many people haven't it as well, is Deadbolt. Doors you latch are 10% harder to bash through, going up to 30% at level three. This will create those interactions where usually on certain maps, by latching a door, you prevent the enemy team, aka the family, from getting close to you. And that time can be necessary for you to access the fuse box, open some areas that you shouldn't be able to open on any map, but because of Deadbolt, it's going to help you out. And the only thing that the family can do is have perks that can have, uh, counter this and barge through doors quicker, which they can do. But the majority of the time, they're not running those perks, they're running meta perks, which aren't barge perks in the game. So we're going to use this to hopefully work to our benefit, create some interesting moments, and have some fun as Connie. So let's jump into this game right now. Uh, tips and tricks. I, we do have a lot of tips and tricks on the channel, but if there's anything you want directly, give me a heads up. Like, what, what, what types of tips and tricks? Because usually when you just play, it happens. You know? So I go, there is a uh, reward for 50k channel points where we're actually able to play people. Keep that in mind. That could be an opportunity. Yeah, I jumped this. Is audio loud? Oh, it's my headset. My, why is audio so low? That's me, Connie, with my ability to use their bolt. Let's see how beneficial this is in the gameplay. I know that it works really well in some games, and other times it doesn't. It just depends. You know, it's one of those unique factors of the game. Let's enjoy this. Okay, he's getting that. I feel pretty slow already, I can tell you that. Even though I have high endurance. Okay, Stay calm. Give me the tools, I need them. But to put it like this, you could latch this door with dead bolt, and now he can't open that. This area's kind of closed off. I'm on PC. I'm not playing on a new gen, I'm on PC. So opening that, he's breaking doors, which means we have opportunity to actually move and create some potential place. Wait, what? I thought she was over there. That was someone else? That was Julie. Guys, he's a slippery over here. Gain the increased movement speed. That door should open. Is he swinging back? I'm watching his movement. I could latch this door if I wanted to. He, went, he came back. He came back. And I'd be dead. So let's skip that location. Go upstairs. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. Please let my friends be okay. What? What is going on? Am I stuck? Wait, was I in a trap? With no notification at all? What is this game? What is how laggy is this? I'm stuck. Okay, this is so laggy. I, I gotta tell you, this is super laggy. Let me get a reset. Let me get a reset. That is so unfortunate. Look, I'm over there. Look how laggy it is. So he killed me outside the door, but it was inside. What? That is that is freaky how laggy that is. 
Well, the server's still dog shit. Like, what's happening? They fixed the server connection? Or is it still bad from when the, the recent update happened? You're watching your vids? First time on the stream? Welcome, Eric. Welcome, welcome. Can you settings to low? No way, it's my settings. It's not, I've played the game with the same settings from day one, and that's never been an issue. Playing the game on low is freaky too. I don't like playing low. <laughs> yeah, the game does crash. When I the new update happened, I crashed a lot. Hey Brandon, you downloaded Twitch today? Welcome, welcome. Glad to hear. Amazing, amazing. We have a great community on Twitch and on YouTube. Love to see the sport in every way possible. Good job to another match. Yeah, that point there, I feel like I was getting, getting staggered and getting hit from everywhere. And I went to a trap and there was no activation on the trap at all. You've been crashing all day? Damn. That's not good, is it? Do they say anything? Do they actually acknowledge the crashes? Do they say anything about it? Like any type of communication? Even on their, like their social medias or Reddit, whatever they use? To talk to players because no way there's this is happening for everyone and there's no discussions let me check now Reddit it's, it's talking about people like uh, about the prices and such for the game or the next DLCs. People complain about that still. Till, till today. Which makes sense. Honestly. Fully understand. But I feel like it's just... I don't know if anything's going to happen, to be honest. You do both, um, Brandon. <laughs> That's both. Correct. You are correct on both. Yeah, no one's talking about the crashing. Really interesting. There, is, there has been a notification issue with the game as well. Sometimes when basement opens, you don't get a notification at all. Yeah, how long have we been in this matchmaking? A minute a bit. And the last one was two minutes. So matchmaking kind of sucks. Being in a lobby takes forever. It's it's somehow kind of um, fun, uh, like a contradiction. The re we reduced the timer from seven to five minutes in lobbies. But the two minutes of finding a lobby is here now, instead of being in the actual lobby. So it didn't change anything. It's the same amount of time. Do you think it's fine if I use victims with no standard perks? Uh, yes, but you still had you still have endurance high, correct? Uh, Tav, would you have your endurance pretty high? Because I will tell you, the best stats in the game. I win. I have no clue what happened. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you the best perks in the game. Uh, so the best attributes in the game are going to be like proficiency and endurance. Those two go hand in hand. I would even say in some aspects, endurance is better than proficiency to have as an attribute. Just because running fast means you get away fast. But proficiency is the reason why you actually complete objectives. So that's why it's important. And look, people say that it doesn't affect car battery. It says along with car battery disabling. It literally says... And people in the video are saying, no, it doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. It says. It says that it does. <laughs> hey, Magic. You play Enjoy, Enjoy, Enjoy. Hey, Bird. How you doing? How you doing? You know, no one really wants to play with Bubba, to be honest. Unless you're party up like this, then they'll play it. Yeah, I think at that point, you, Tam, you got to put the endurance higher. You actually have to invest more points. Unless you're playing really safe. A max strength funny? No, there's actually a build for that, which is the weak part. I don't know why that exists, but it's there. It's obviously there.
I don't think Grappler exists on her, does it? I don't think it is. I don't think she has Grappler. We'll double check to it. Let's jump into this gameplay using Deadbolt, the latching slash anti barge perk in the game for victims to utilize against enemies. So let's try to utilize this and see what we can do with it. First thing I want to do is actually get our lock tool. I can show you a quick benefit of this is by going over here and latching this door straight away. Latched. Yeah, he's going to waste some time there. Unless he breaks it, then he wastes no time. We have decent proficiency, so we should be able to complete this. And then continue out here. Nice. Hit it, Leland. Nice play. He was very quiet, by the way. Very, very quiet. He's aiming me by purpose. Oh, shit. This guy is terrifying. Wait a minute. He echoed the right side. Have a bit of time. Wait, when did I pick up meds? Did I somehow panic at some point and pick up meds in the other side? Then I'm realizing? When I, or maybe when I opened a door of some sort? Yeah, I think that's what happened over here. When I was trying to close this door, it picked up the meds. It did. I wonder why. Okay, okay. No bad, no bad. I don't like this much quiet. Let's go up. Out of the basement, we go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. This is really bad, actually. I'll play inner because of the, the loops being so bad for me here. But I still will work here way better because I can move faster between gaps. She will save me. Until that happens, then I might be dead. So I'm going to chase this whole game, aren't I? I can barely hit anything. Hook's right here too. Oh, they're aiming me. Please! I need to survive! How would you... Ch I'm stuck. He's level three, Cook! My team DC, I'm pretty much gonna be the last member. I'm gonna bleed out. Oh, 
Oh shit! No! <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead! <laughs> Where's my team? What was my team doing the whole game? Look, like I had Cook scan me all game and Hitchhiker chase me all game. Oh, dude. That is the worst feeling. So I couldn't outrun him because I had no choose flight. Like, in a case like that, when you get aimed by high savagery slash endurance build on Hitchhiker as Connie, you don't have many options because there's not, not many places you can go. And when you're running away, Cook is scanning you at the same time. I have nothing to do. Yeah, the mates in the chatting, I love it. Glad to see it, glad to see it. Yeah, it was perma chase. I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, chill chat. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, see, I see it. Chill, 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 chill. Do, do, do. Yeah, it looks all good. It's all good. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about this game. The chase had you sweating. <laughs> Sunny to, to a new level. Yeah, they have to add, they have to rework Sunny some way. Are you getting what doing? I thought you were from the very start. Was I mistaken? I swear I saw your name at the very start. So, in a case like that, it's kind of an. A yeah, hard thing to do because you can't do much. Thoughts on Johnny? Johnny is good and shit at the same time. Uh, good damage, but it's not as good as other characters because there's no lockdown possibility. Same with Sissy. You don't have much lockdown, and lockdown is so important these days to prevent other players from moving or accessing any objective. Which Sissy, in her right, is supposed to do that, but not at the same capability as Hitchhiker Trap or a Cook Padlock on a door. It's like CC still is useful. They're still fun characters. Still enjoyable. Um, but, but they're more casual. Like if you were to play a game at the highest level, you would never see a CC. You would never see a Johnny. It just can't happen. Sadly, just, that's the way the game works. You'd only see Cook, Hitchhiker, and Lowface. Yeah, but in a game that's so casual, does it really matter? Does it really matter? That's the thing. It doesn't. The game has been advertised as a casual game. It has a casual matchmaking system, and which keeps it casual. And honestly, the play pace is all over the place that you have people that are very experienced and other times people that are just brand new to the game. So in a case like that, it doesn't matter what character you play because sometimes even the new player or the experienced player can run Johnny and they'll still get some kills or all the kills in the game. It's bound to happen. Is this the same team? I, feel like I've, I swear, I feel like I just versed them. But this is the, the best part for the build. This map is full as build, I think. I do want to replace. What's up, man? What's up, dudes? What's up, dude? Something. Is he console? He's console. No, I ain't trusting. I, you a diet. I, I ain't going to trust. Console, you don't trust. <laughs> when it comes to comms, I don't trust. From last time, play super safe. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want here. Just give it all endurance, stuff it. We need it. We absolutely need it. It's too important for us right now. Head to the Reno's down, alright? <laughs> I was waiting for something. It wouldn't even went, something went, went bad in some way, so I didn't want to bother dealing with it. Like last time, some, some guy said GG, and then things happened right after it. So I don't risk it anymore. <laughs> Just play it hella safe, because that's the right thing to do. Yeah, so we're just testing out new perks like Dead Bowl and all these perks that many people have never used in the game, ever. So that was the goal. Instead of using meta perks completely and pretty much being OP as hell, let's try to use something unique and have some fun with it. That's us go. Have had that live ban? No, I have not. I've not seen it. Chat seems chill, and the way everyone's talking about discussions, that's not an issue. 
That is no issue with me. Discussions are discussions. Just no targeting of any way, and that's all matters. Yeah, new perks to me and majority of the audience, to be honest, that plays this game. Because I swear, not many people have used these perks. I don't see them ever being used. Like, look. Meta, meta, meta. Meta, meta, meta. A unique meta, meta. Like, they're just things you can't get away from. They're just OP as hell, and people are going to use them. So running unique builds like this, when you run something different, even just one perk difference can be a game changer for your whole experience. So our build on Kanye looks like this. 49 endurance, focus ability going this way, change to however you want. Jump start, and also slippery works pretty darn well together for just utility, and also deadbolt. Deadbolt will help us out drastically, and it's going to create some amazing moments for us for latching doors and pretty much stopping barging from happening. That's the skillshare right there. Copy it, enjoy it. Let's jump into this gameplay. And hi to the mate in the bottom there. Hello, hello. Let's enjoy this. <laughs> oh, you can hear me. I don't think you can hear me. No. <laughs> hello. Let's get this. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Love the builds, my guy. Respect, respect. Let's jump to it. What an interesting build. Yeah, on gas station, this is going to work out pretty well. We'll explain why as you go. There's only one way. Only one way. So, a couple of the exits on this map, at least one of them, is really, really good with the latch door. And that is being the gas station. There's a door you can latch behind you as you open up the other door to lead out from the gas station and escape as a victim. So, a build like this, having dead bolt to stop barging and also reduce the time for those players to actually encounter me in those moments could be a game changer and it goes up to 30 percent at level three at level one it's only 10 percent but it's still very useful that affects your lashing speed and the barge aspects as well making it harder to barge over here bad habits <laughs> went for the bloody bone scrap straight away bad habits we're making sound there we go spam it the door instantly for them. Wait for the debuff. Just keep moving, Connie. Ah, shit. I'm about to die. Be my tank. Be my tank. I'm going to open this as well. Like a smart option. We'll open this door here. Create some more movement for us. Lashing doors can work in the basement too, to your advantage. That's why I left that vent open just in case I needed to use it. I can lash the door there and be safe. They stab Grandpa, nice. We've got a Grandpa stabber. Yeah, Cook is the best way to level up in the game by far. So my teammates are opening the pressure valve. I'm going to go for the gate that I want to open. No, you don't have to use meta builds. Like, meta builds is maybe the best way to play to make sure you win the game. But a build like this, when it's not meta, it has some meta perks, but not completely. And you get to run new perks, which changes your whole gameplay dynamic. It's really fun. Like, Deadbolt here, I'm only using it to get to this side of the map. So, I, I've made a build where I can actually succeed the escape by going to this side of the map, you know? Which is very important to me. It means it's actually more fun and entertaining. I have, like, a game plan, pre-lobby, and I know what I'm going to do to reach that escape and use my ability in the best way possible. I'm gonna get detected here, aren't I? I hate chainsaw, I hate chainsaw, shit. No, 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 no! Run! Oh, wait, what? He didn't see me? 
There's no way he didn't see me. I'm safe over here. I'm safe. I thought I was going to jump. I actually thought I was going to jump. The debuff on Connie's ability is essentially a proximity warnings are gone. So she has proximity all over her screen, saying that someone's close, but not, someone may be close or may not be. And also, it reduces your sprint. That's her debuff. So that's something bad that will somehow get you catched by an enemy player. Can't see me. Latched. I run now. Oh my god. Oh my god, mates. Don't on me, don't on me. No! I'm dead. Help me! Help! Help! I need it! <laughs> I'm dead. No! Oh my god! I survived. What? A Who locked the door there? Who locked the door there? Who locks that door? What an imbecile! Who locks that door, dude? Who? Tell me who! Who locks that It was uh, Julie. I guarantee it was Julie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was Julie. She's the only one that, in that area. Oh, it was you. It was you. That single-handedly got me killed. Single-handedly. Oh my god. You don't latch a door like that. that. A door that's on the edge of the map, you never latch unless you're getting pressured. That's the only time. And welcome Shadow Gamers as T1 member on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy the vibes here. Means well, it truly does. Thank you, thank you. Also, if you mates are on your channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lord of your game subs. For 10% off and also btlmerch.com. Show us for greatly appreciated. GG's, GG's. What a weird ass game that was. <laughs> I cannot. And the hard part is you can't really tell from afar that the door's been locked. The only way you can tell is when you see the prompt up close. That you, you're... Yeah, there's a barge option or you, you're actually going to the barge action. Which then I would have been dead either way. If I try to open it up. Oh, I mean like another ability? Yeah, you know what? Having another um, main ability. So like imagine, you know how you have your chainsaw. No, maybe not low face. Maybe other victims. You know how they have one ability? Like Connie has the lock ability and she has her own skill tree for that. Maybe she has a secondary ability, which does something else completely. And gives her like a hybrid build. Because of her ability being so different that her perks can now work in a different way to help her new ability. You know? Like she has a strength uh, tree to a certain degree. Maybe her main ability there ends up being something unique for that aspect. To work hand in hand. So it becomes much more interesting. You know? I think it would be a fun mechanic. The only door with that we can really latch up here is fuse box. The fuse box doors, if it's in the right place. Two of the spots have a latch door you can use. I'm very annoyed. <laughs> Especially because every time we're barging the doors, the person that's right next to us is... <clears throat> uh, it's it's uh, low face. So low face can just destroy the door. He doesn't have to barge it. He doesn't need to. It's not a necessity for him. Yeah, Sunny's underrated, yeah. Many people play him, though. 
if the ones that have niche builds in will play and enjoy it. But the main audience, like the main play base, not not much, you know? Not really. Yeah, John, I agree. I think this game is in a right now, from even a content creator perspective, this game is in a rough position. Like I love this game. But you can't enjoy a game when there's nothing else happening. You know? It's becoming very like quiet. And I'm not gonna be like, oh look, this is the best game ever. I'm enjoying it every day. There's some days where I'm like, I'll play a different game because I I'm not enjoying the experience as much. I, just, I need to play something else. I need to enjoy gaming. You know? And I'll come back to it and create some videos here and there, have a fun time. But I can't play 24-7 because the game doesn't have enough content for 24-7 anymore. For me at least. If they are making the game family side to a certain degree, I, I do agree. For better or worse, like the game should be family side to a certain degree because it makes the matches much more intense and fun. But two family side through easy mechanics like feeding blood to grandpa can be kind of daunting. It doesn't reward you for being a good player, it just rewards you for playing passively. So jump to this, playing as Connie with a dead bolt, which is a great perk to utilize, which will help us drastically. This perk is a perk that many people don't use. You're able to latch doors pretty quickly. And those doors being latched will be harder to barge through. Unless you're Leland. You can barge through anything. So that's something to keep in mind. Although he's, he went, he's, he actually bashed me, but he could went through his little gap here. But yeah, that's the idea that you can latch those doors and use those doors to your advantage. Because then it makes it harder for the family to actually use them against you. And they have to barge through the door, so if you're versing anyone else that isn't left face, they can't destroy the door. This perk becomes very useful, especially at level 3 at 30%. It's kind of ridiculous. The anti uh, barge perk, alongside being a quick latch perk as well. It's very nice. In case like this on the map family house, the doors up top, the next fuse box, can be latched. So my game plan will be most likely that. He did the rotation. Actually, didn't. Not yet. It's the first time I'm going to latch this door. Because I feel like he's going there. If not, well, someone's going to die. Actually, I want to latch it. One door's been opened. Oh, dude. That Leland? I don't know why he's positioning himself in such weird ways. Like, he should have went up. He has so much freedom. This will help. Actually, I'm getting chased. I'm getting chased. I'm getting chased. Oh, that hurts. I'm dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. What the hell, man? I can't do shit. I actually, I couldn't do anything there. I couldn't do anything. I'll be honest. Couldn't do anything. All three on me. Cook was sent at the cook ability is driving me insane. Like it's actually come to a point where I think it's like kind of annoying. Like little three cook is just too good, too good. Oh, dude. Yeah, they're mostly like nerfing some of the abilities. They came like a wrecking ball, yes. I think Cook is just too good. Like, I understand he has to play passive, but his ability is just so free. Like, I, I can't do anything. I can't... When I'm in a chase and I'm getting scanned, I'm dead. I have no option. Especially on the top level, I have no option. When nothing's been opened already and everything's pretty much blocked, if I'm running through there 
and I'm trying to get to the point where I can actually make something happen. If I'm getting scammed by Cook, getting chased by Lurface and Hitchhiker, I have so much pressure from these two initially. Even when I juke them, and you saw me, I broke their ankles. They had no clue where I was. Cook ability scammed me. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Literally dead. There was no comms. There was no comms. There was no comms that game. I can tell you that. One Harris set, no comms. And Leland uh, kind of stuffed me up twice. Yeah, if it's a new Cook player and they're not using their ability correctly, understandable. But versus a level 3 Cook with that build is kind of annoying. Thoughts on a Blood Build and Bubba? We did it. We did a video on it. Um, I thought it was alright. It's like... Currently, the meta is Blood. So having more people run Blood Builds in some way in family means you win games easier. Uh, easier. At any aspect. Are you playing a PC place? Is it over for you now? What do you mean? Oh, for me? Versus cosplayers? I wish. We shall see. We shall see. We'll be returning to Pro Time Grounds in the near future. What is there to return to? That's maybe the biggest issue. Like, if I play... Uh, I might play here and there for my own, my own enjoyment. There's nothing new. Nothing been done to the game that keeps it interesting in any way. You know? By the universe of Predators and Aliens and all that stuff, enjoy the crap out of it. But I'm just waiting for a new game. Please, Frank, just a new game. There was a Predator 100 Grounds too. I'll be playing that non-stop. Yeah, that's... Are you 100% agree, B? There's no rank to this game, so it doesn't even matter. That's think. Uh, about all the stuff you do in this game, just have fun. Who gives a shit? Because if there's nothing to lose, nothing to gain... The only thing that you have to do is have fun. You know? You're not playing the game just to be like, I have a 100% win rate. If you do, and you lose one match, then that meant nothing. So what's the point? No, I don't think he's even saying that. Yeah, I don't think he's saying that. Put a bubble on someone like Cook or Sissy with a one-shot build. Yeah, that's the best way. Yeah, that if you want an optimal outcome, you run one-shot build on Lowface and then run a uh, blood build on Sissy and uh, also Cook, and you're pretty much good to go. Thoughts on Hero Rumble? Fun and enjoyable. I don't know about the longevity, of course. There was some release of a new character and a new map coming sometime soon. So that's enjoyable, but that's if you like Battle Royales and you play Battle Royales all the time, then you will have a fun time playing my Hero Ultra Rumble, that's sure. Your victim above has one shot, it's kind of annoying, so that's why I run Quick Sell. Yes. Uh, no Sell, No Sell, not Quick Sell, No Sell, Aiden. Uh, no Sell will help out with those moments against one shot low face. It's a direct counter to it. Also, two cycle charge. I feel like it's placebo. I really don't see it uh, being used. Double check into it. I swear, every time I use two cycle charge, it does nothing. It actually does nothing. I don't feel the benefit. Big swings, of course. Feral, yes, to a certain degree. But the thing is, you can, when you go big swings and feral, you have, you're kind of forced into that. Two cycle charge. I don't think you're forced into two cycle charge. Are you? Well, you can't go into rough cut anymore, can you? I don't think you can go into rough cut too. You go blood violent, red blood, uh, blood violent, big swings, blood violent, and feral. I can't. I don't think scouts random. Does it work that way? Try, try one game. Just try one game without it. So it says that it does that, but try one game without it. At being the level you're right now, I'm guessing level three, low face. Try game with, with one without it, and you'd be surprised that it does nothing. It feels like it does nothing. Like if you're good at revving and ma mag uh, management, you don't need it. That's what goes through my mind when I play and witness it. This map is so awful. I like I only have one uh, place to do the latching and it's fuse box. 
Yeah, try a uh, violent. So run violent, feral, and big swings, and you will thank me. It'd be like amazing one shots, and even things that against characters like Anna, she will get hit like crazy. The damage will be insane. But that means you don't feel you don't feed Grandpa. That's the only thing you do there. You end up not feeding Grandpa unless you have one opponent left and you can't find them. Then feed Grandpa. Who knows? The lobbies have been worse since crossplay. Yes, I hundred percent. I have no, I have no issue with people like try hiding or enjoy sweating games in any way. That's just gaming in general, how it's always been. So that's not an issue for me in any way. But a game like this, like, like Gears, like I'll compare this, compare this uh, compared to Gears. Gears of War has a like, rank system, and you will sweat like crazy. But when you play casual, you're still sweating, but you're still having fun. So you can write some weird shit, and you would just have fun, you know? Back in the Gears War days. Um, in a game like this, it's exactly the same thing. But there's no ranked. So there's actually no reason to fully sweat, unless you just want to win your matches, get XP, level up some perks, yada yada, you know? So our build is on screen right now with these perks here. Main build like this, endurance at 49, skill tree looks like this. But the most unique part about it is this perk here, Deadbolt. These will help us latch doors faster at 10% and making them harder to barge through as well. So that's cr crazy good. Actually, it's not the faster rate, just latching doors becomes harder for enemies to break through. And that goes up to 30% at level 3. Let's enjoy this and jump into the experience on the map Family House. Yeah, skill tree is a dog shit in this game. I, I have to, I've always said it. I hate the way the skill tree system works alongside the loadout system. And I understand it, but I don't like it. And that's a, a preference that people can have, an opinion that people can have, and it's all good. It seems to be game challenges at the moment, possibly, but not right now on stream. If you have any ideas, put it into our Discord and we'll double check into it. So jump to the experience as Connie with a Deadbolt perk, which many people don't use. Pretty much like a new perk for the gameplay experience. And it changes the plays that you have in your mind before you jump to the game. So now we're playing on the map Family House. And I can tell you straight away, my mindset is to go upstairs and latch those doors for the fuse box. That's my mindset. That's my goal. So that's for sure. I'll uh, give me a moment. Hopefully I don't die. Go back, go back. Am I dead? I am not dead. Perfect. And thank you, B. Bumblebee for the five dollars. Oh, I went read the message. <laughs> oh, I lost the key. Uh, I lost the healing. Sorry. Yeah, I'll double shade to it. I'll double shade to it. Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm lashing doors for my own safety. I I'll latch this so no one else dies to that. Go up again. I am not dying this game. Shit. So her face is ease this time? Damn. Imagine. 
Technically, we should be able to move freely because there's no hit target traps. So we should be able to go up to the high levels instantaneously with no issue at all. Technically. What? That guy's gnarly. What a reaction. What a reaction. To be able to quickly play around that. That's insane. Oh, the door's been open. Oh, shit! I'm dead. Well, he ruined my whole game plan. Oh, shit! Oh, no! This is the end. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, that is the worst timing. That has to be the worst timing. Tell me, how do I get such shit timing? The games today have been full sweaty, unbelievable timing on everyone's apart, and I'm just getting completely ruined. Like, <laughs> it's all because of Deadbolt, isn't it? Unlucky Shriek, yeah, I know, right? You understand, like, there was no one there. Why would he check there? Like, he already, left face went through there, left face cleared it, and he still went there to double check. Like, how? Yeah, with her ability, you can't still you can't kill her. Anna is not meant to die. Keep that in mind. Anna doesn't die. Anna's ability and how she's been created through game uh, game design, she's meant not to die to Leatherface. She's meant to survive at all costs. Yes, make sure to subscribe to the channel on Twitch and on YouTube as a member. Yeah, today's been real sweaty. I don't know how. I said using new perks. I never said new perks were added to the game. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. I ho hopefully that's been the case. It's simply, like, simply, technically, the only thing that goes between every match is myself, so I understand. So I'll try to get better at this. We'll find out. Maybe it's just one of those days. It's just a rough day. Just a rough day. Loophole, yes. <laughs> figured it out. I figured it out. Yeah, let's double check. Give me a second. I need to double check my messages. Give me a moment. Because this is Q time. going to take a bit of time, honestly. Because it does. I technically stop using one shot low face. I, I run now. Like, the idea of one shot low face comes through his main ability. But if you want a true one shot, you have to run those perks. And it, it would work on any character. But the, I feel like the perks are a bit overkill because I feel like even builds without one shot, like big swings, can still work and one shot completely. It depends. What's going? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Yeah, chicken build over big swing builds. Yeah, like it's, just, it's all about having fun. So I enjoy those builds. Um, let me see.
Okay. Um, there's no team. Enemy team. They're not here. Run rubber boots on left face. Epic. Yeah, see that? That's dog shit. <laughs> that one dog shit, but it's funny. Are you give MW3 a shot? I heard it's like MW2. I literally heard the code is exactly to MW2 and a DLC. It was supposed to be a DLC of MW2 and then MW3 was created. Thoughts on playing DayZ? I have DayZ. I do. It's a really interesting question to ask, but I don't think I'll be playing at the moment. Because the game is a very sleeper game until like you fully edit a 24 hour experience in the game where you can get some type of moment that actually happens. It's like that lead up was worth it. But it's 24 hours to get that one moment. So maybe not. We'll find out. Try to join the family, please. Someone. Serenity so Scout and Universal Donor. Yes, I, I, I've talked about that quite a lot. But I was wondering if Unrealistic would be better uh, than Serrated. Um, hmm. That's an interesting one. So when you use Serrated Unrelenting, you get 40 Sav, 35 Blood, and... Uh, okay, Squad Endurance. So depending on how much um, blood you get per bucket, that's been the most important part, depending on your Universal Donor. That is the the benefit. You can run a certain build where you can actually hit four buckets. Say on a certain map like Sword House, there's four buckets that are guaranteed on the map that will always spawn. And if you know that, you would adjust your points over here on your attributes to be lower or higher to be able to fill up that blood storage that you have on your character and be able to give it uh, give it to Grandpa. Because you, you can't use the blood buckets all game because they have timers. There's a cooldown period before you go to the blood bucket again and utilize it. So you can actually adjust this stat and put that value into other things. For example, if I was playing Cook and had Savage, I could put it to there, put it to Endurance, whatever it may be, to help out with that. And then what ends up happening, if you're really good at it, the map depends on... So your, your blood storage, your blood amount, blood harvesting amount, depends on the map. So you can change the amounts every map to get that perfect number so you're able to reach the full capacity as quickly as possible. It's 182. Uh, oh, that's pretty disgusting. Is that with the blood poke as well? Or was that naturally 182? Seems pretty high. That seems pretty high. I thought it was like 140 something. But that might be maxed out 182 with blood perk. The one that increases blood storage. Now, what's this ghost town, man? What is this? Max out Savagery and add Feral, uh, this gives you extra damage. Four build. No, it doesn't. No, I know what you mean. It, you, if you reach like 50 sav Savagery and then you put Feral on, you don't get 57. It doesn't exist. There's no overcapping, like passing the cap. You can't do that. That's not a uh, system that's in place. I don't know where that came up. It's been said so many times. I'm actually thinking someone's giving like misinformation on that. I don't think that's even possible. From all I've seen, I don't think that's even a metric you can go over. I think it's capped at 50 and it's always capped at 50. Even with the perk on and off. You've done it? Do you feel the difference? Because it's technically, what is it? 0 0.38? Or 0 0.24 per, per one savagery of damage? Someone said in the chat last time. One of the mates. I think it was Brandon actually. He's in the chat. Yeah, it just says 50. So Brandon, did it, does it actually work? Can you go over 50 and reach 57? Because I don't think it was the case. Yeah, see? No, that's what I thought. It, it, it's like a, uh, like a typo or mistake. It's trying to calculate, but it's calculating wrong uh, numbers. But it doesn't actually change anything. It's 50 is cap. Yeah, visual bug. There you go. Thought so. Well, th why the lobby's so stacked today? Everyone's at a party. There's like insane lobbies today. Insane. It's been because of the weekend. Everyone just wants to sweat out and play the game. I don't know. Very interesting. So our loadout's on screen right now. Focus looking like this on Connie. Endurance at 49. So move like crazy with jump start and slippery. 
and using Deadbolt, a perk that no one uses. And this perk does help out with the element of countering barging through doors. You latch the door, it becomes 10, 20, and 30% harder to barge through as a family member, which then will give you the opportunity to make something happen. Maybe unlock a door and escape. Maybe go to the fuse box and get those aspects there. You don't know until you try it, and this is one of those perks that many people haven't tried, so I want to showcase it. And that skill tree looks like this. Let's so jump to action and let's have some fun. Yeah, I said she was going for door, for sure. But this guy, man. Oh, Jesus. I hate, I hate Cook. I'm starting to hate it. Yeah, I run Scout on every character too. Scout's so good. And if I don't run Scout on a character, it's because I'm playing passively in some way. Even when I play passively on Cook, I still run Scout. Just too good. Go jump to this. Playing as Connie with our Deadbolt perk on the map Family House. Oh, actually, sorry, Gas Station. So we got one area they can go to here, which is the exit of Gas Station, latch the door behind us, and open the doors and escape. That's the goal to plan right now. Oh shit, I picked up the wrong thing. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Big fan, love the videos, keep it up. Thank you, Jay. I shall, I shall. I'll try my very best. Hey, it's gonna be $21 for you to get a skin? Damn. <laughs> $21 and you're like, yep, I, I can't wait for it. Oh god. The price of the skin's ridiculous. I think they need to be adjusted. We're ready to discuss that. I don't want to open that can of worms. Oh shit! Wait. I had it! Okay, let's see where this goes. Come on. Come on. I'm playing safe, play safe. Me. In the door. Oh, Grandpa's not here. Thank you. No! No, I tried, I tried. Do a scan, do a scan. I might heal up here too. Oh shit! What? Oh, dude. I'm triggered, I'm absolutely triggered. What? No! No! Don't you do it, man. Please. Please. Let me go. I have to go to well. I have another option. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I feel it in my bones. Please don't sweat. Don't sweat. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's still redeemable. It's still redeemable. It's redeemable. You need the perk. Yeah, extra dribble would help out drastically right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lie about that one. But it doesn't matter. I know where the meds are, so I have no issue finding meds. Usually no issue. See? All good. Back to brand new. As Connie. Unlock this door. This is my own safety. 
Because if he just pees out, no, I'm dead. Fresh Val's on as well. It's kind of good for us, actually. Fresh is a distraction. Someone just weld, is there? Fresh Val over here? Oh, it is. I was scared. I could be scared. I, I was not going to die there. Not risky. This is going to take forever. There's nobody escapes hell as well. With these lock pins. Oh, sc uh, screw pins, sorry. Boys padlocks. Time for me to run. He knows. I am dead here, aren't I? I'm listening to sound because my uh, proximity warnings are all bugged. If I die here, I am so disheartened. Do not turn this corner. He broke the one door I could latch. He broke that one door I could latch. The latch is on the outside. I hate that. Nobody knows about this toolbox. Nobody knows about this. Fun gameplay? Bold run like that with Connie? I have to. You have to make some big plays happen. You dirty chicken. Where is it? I might be dead here. Usually every location has like a three spawns of... Uh, except basement. Every map has like a lot of spawns after the first door you open. Are we gonna lose the game? Oh my god, look how long it takes. Oh, shit, he knows, he knows. Well, I, I don't think I used Deadbolt this whole time, did I? I couldn't lock anything with Deadbolt. Oh, open the door, open the door, yes. Open the door, open the door, open the door, yes. No! I'm dead. 
That is the most bullshit thing ever. I didn't see it at all. I couldn't see. I didn't think you put one there. Well done, well done. Well done. Yeah, I could have waited for my bill to come back. Oh my god, GG, GG's. His name was interesting. Did you see his name? What was his name? Bubba G String. <laughs> Wait, you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it. Wait, where is it? No, I can't see it. Oh, look. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> and this kid is like, he was talking on the mic. He's a kid and he's like, GG's. <laughs> With that name, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh god, that is funny. <laughs> yeah, the trap placement was god tier. Because it wasn't there initially, so he put it in the center. I could have ran through the side of it and be able to survive, but I didn't. it didn't register my mind that they are going to do that. I don't see many people do that. That's why. They usually keep the traps in the main areas, and they never rotate them. Unless they're good at the game. And looks like today it's all sweaty. Hello, sweaty. Now, B, we're just playing uh, Texas today for like two hours or so. If you, want, you can redeem another day. You don't have to do it today, B. You can wait for Baptize as well and we'll get everybody to play at the same time. If, that, if you want that to be the case, there's no issue. Trap place like that. <laughs> is, is his name Bubba Bub G String in the game? Spencer? What's the buzz name in the game? Is Bubba Bub Bub Z String? <laughs> Just imagine. Because thing right now, what we're trying to do. Is possibly create some like uh, other content at the same time. So, depending on what happens on TCM and other games that we're playing, the the stream could go longer or shorter depending on that aspect. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, wrong character. I have to go. Oh, the hitch was teabagging. Who cares? I don't care for it. I don't care for it. It's funny. Um, we go over here. Yeah, so depending on the how the streams go, like for certain games, we'll obviously play more or less depending on that case. And from there, um, alongside that, I, I do want to actually work on more short form content like TikToks and YouTube Shorts. I, I want to start putting more time into that as well because it does help out the channel drastically, especially when games go a bit quiet. Usually that's still pretty good means to keep people alert about the game and interested in some way. So that could be a possibility there. Um... And from there, I'm waiting for new content for this game, more than anything. Like, new content for this game, playing Spider-Man 2, possibly. Floors of Fallen, possibly, as well. Uh, any new game that comes out that has a multiplayer focus in it, on it, as well, that's kind of interesting, I will play it. I have no limitations. I play any genre, and I don't really care, because I have fun. So, that might be the only thing that's going through my mind right now. For, like, content, and how content's being planned. Yes, um, but video-wise, videos will most likely still be the same canon that we're trying to do now, which is, like, Around three to maybe a crap ton of videos, depending on what's happening in the game world at that time, that we can cover and have some fun times. There's possibilities to talk about discussions, like I don't know, but like topics. Like we talk about different topics, maybe things that are related to gaming, maybe things that are not related to gaming, and just have fun about it. You know, I think that's maybe the way I'm going to lean towards, because I have fun like watching that type of content. So I th I feel like it'd be fun for me to also create content like that in some essence, where we just talk about certain topics and have a fun time. Facecam inbound? No, we've had a facecam before. We've had a facecam. We literally had facecam this the start of Texas. And some some uh, times during the week. I have to bring it back though. Just weather in Oz is so like all over the place that you feel sick some days and it's like no point. <laughs> is that an ice cream truck? Oh my god, I can hear ice cream truck. That's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, B. Thank you. <laughs> Thoughts on the Wolverine game? It could have huge potential. It's made by Insomniac, so they've done pretty well with Spider-Man. I'm guessing they do well with that. 
You are right. One of my TikToks has the face cam involved. I think it was the Mortal Kombat one. And that went crazy too. A lot of support on that uh, TikTok for sure. For MK. So maybe that's the, the route that we have to go for a bit. And highlight some stuff on there too. Which I have no issue with. It just means I have to work more on those aspects. Which takes time. Uh, so we got this build on our Connie. Follow this. Jump start. Slippery. Endurance of 49. And Deadbolt. This perk is good and bad depending on the map you're playing on. Doors you latch are 20% hard to blast through. Goes up to 30% at level 3. And skill tree is this. Let's jump to the action and use this new perk that many people don't use. So let's enjoy this. Family House. I'm not going to enjoy this. Family House today has been the worst thing ever. Think about doing viewer view games soon. Technically, we have a challenge on the channel on Twitch. You reach 50k points, you're able to do a viewer game of some sort. Katana main? You should. You, especially, you'd love Katana, the new one. Katana and the MK1 is disgustingly good. It's actually all like all how strong that is. It's so hard to play against. Uh, did you play Diablo 4? Yes, to a certain degree. I stopped playing it though. It was fun at the start, but it depends. Are you going to try out X Defiant? It looks pretty good. I did try out back in beta. I haven't tried it in full release though. I don't know if it's fully released now. We could go back to it in some aspect, but don't know, don't know. We have to go for Fuse Escape because of a latch perk. So we're going for that. So we're able to latch door behind us and Fuse Escape. But most recent games, it looks like all the doors are being broken. That's the hard part. All the doors being actually broken off. AKA destroyed by a player or barged through the doors earlier, so I can't even latch them. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> it's the regret. Play Assassin's screen, we did. We played a bit of Assassin's screen on the channel already. I'm scared about that. Oh, okay. Well, they passed through. Someone already here? Shit. That guy's camping, man! Watch out, Johnny. Johnny's jumping basement. Watch out. Watch this dorm with Deadbolt. Yeah, unlatch that door so my team doesn't die to it after. I latch doors for safety more than anything, but. Never leave a door latched unless it's something very important, like a fuse box. But keeping that closed is actually kind of good. I need to be careful. They might still be near. We don't know where the fuse box is. So let's double check. I will actually latch this door. Latched. Not here. Actually, we should latch all the doors upstairs. <laughs> you can get one of my teammates killed, but who cares? Might help us drastically. For safety reasons. And open up the side compartments here. There's still a little move, uh, uh, movability some way. Go through. It's not here too. So the two doors I could spawned at, because usually it spawns here or the other one I just located, you close this and use their bolt to st stop them from entering. You know? And it's actually useful. It will help you out drastically. But in this case, we've got the worst doors. So we need to play smart here and make a big play happen. That hurt. Does he keep doing it? I wonder. Oh, he's destroying it.
Interesting. <laughs> hey, rude. Just latch all the doors. Okay. You got this. We're downstairs. That feels nice. Good plays, good plays. The last on the doors kind of saved us a bit of time. You know what? If I'm by myself up top, I can latch every door. And I just deal with it. I should be able to die here, hopefully. You're nice. Can we make this? I don't know if I can make it. I think we make it. They both helped us so much. We don't make it. We don't make it. We don't make it. Cause that entry was open. Oh shoot, who's that? No! Oh shit, I'm dead! I'm dead! One of us dead, one of us dead. I ain't going. I ain't going. I ain't dying. I ain't dying. You can die, I ain't dying. Tell her that. I can tell you that. Oh, Johnny's there too. Oh, there's been open the pressure valve. Run. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run like the wind. We got this. We got this. I think we got this. They went outside for the pressure valve. Oh, please. I can keep on running, can't I? I can't. Perfect. We make it. We make it. There we go. GG's. GG's. That was going to be an awful game for us. That was going to be awful for us. But Deadbolt, honestly, Deadbolt kind of clutched that. The, the stalling, the mechanics we had up top, actually wasted their time. Drastically. Because what ended up happening, Cook had to stay up top. Leatherface was rotating up top as well. Johnny started up, up, up top and then had to go down to help out uh, with the kills. And they didn't really do that much. Everyone escaped for this Anna. Anna's gonna die here. She has extra drip, so she can pop it off, but Johnny's on the left. Johnny's on the left. Johnny's on the left. Oh, he's not. He just camped in the pressure valve. Uh, you can still access fuse box if you want to. No, what? I wouldn't go through there. Oh, well, that's why. That was a good play because she ran out of stamina. That was the only play she had. But that was great. Good luck to this Anna. She d desperately needs it. But she just needs to make a baseball play and she's out. I think she she pretty much got it. Like it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but good luck for her. Good luck. But that was really fun. That was really, really fun. So Deadbolt, not a bad perk. A perk that many people don't use because they want to use meta perks only. This is a fun opportunity to use something else. When the game's in a quiet state, there's not much happening for like newer content. Go revisit some of these perks and have some fun. Because they're quite unique. And Deadbolt came in clutch for the high level control and wasting of time towards the family member or families in general. So that was really nice. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordia Game Subs for 10% off, and also btlmerch.com. Show support in any way possible, it means the world. Thank you, mates, for all your support. Thank you, thank you. That was insane, that match.
was insane. Am I right? A victim chicken perk. That'd be amazing. Do they wait? Do they have something on victims as well? Don't they? Or am I just mistaken for the other perk on family? Well, we should change the bell to now the Sabotar perk because now we can actually showcase how fuse boxes become OP as hell. Because you know that time there? They could have camped down below for another 30 seconds, I think. Unless it's after fuse box turns off. Be interesting. We'll find out. Oh, there is? Oh, let me double check it. Let me double check. What is the best cook build? Um, there's a choice. There's two builds. You go for a blood build with um, the hybrid of Scout and um, Serrated. So you do a bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. And your movement is still there, so you can access your padlocks and rotate through blood buckets. That's one you can do. Another build is based and still have um, Nobody Escapes Hell as a ground perk. That's that build. Or you go for the other build, which is Superior Pins with Scout and Serrated as well, I believe. So there's two routes. Are you play family? Maybe not today. I don't know. I don't kind of feel like it. I just want to visit some new perks that could be interesting. We'll double check. Is there any new perks I have here that would be fun to play? Ah, Deadweight's kind of shit. SOS. You have those below 10%. You are highlighted to all fellow victims. Yeah, that's not that great. Doesn't have many, many benefits after. Well trained, not really. Large ditch effort is an interesting one, but you have to be dropped at 30% HP in order for it to activate. And sometimes when you get to 30% um, HP, one shot from any target can kill you. So what's the point? That would be fun to run on Anna to a certain degree. Maybe not this character. What about other characters? What are perks do I find interesting here? None of them. Oh, she got large stitch. We can do that. Should we do that and have some fun there? Let's get a little bit crazier. Let's get a bit of crazy. 50. Grappler. Last ditch. And also... I think I keep extra drip still. So we got utility. I don't mind this. I can wear with this. Actually, should we just go choose flight? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Fun build. You dead by, uh, dead by bleeding? In this character, it's going to be an interesting one. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, it's a low level lobby. I didn't even notice the lobby. <laughs> Let's use this build right over here for Anna with this skill tree right over here. Grappler and choose fight. Alongside strength at 50, skill tree looks like this. And a unique perk that we have for the character we're utilizing is large this a uh, large ditch effort. Jesus, why is that a tongue twister? But that is the aspect there. Anytime you drop below a certain threshold of HP up to 30% at level three, you're rewarded with a actual use of a bone scrap. So that's kind of useful. In a certain situation, there's one use at level one and it goes up to I think five uses at level three. So it should be quite interesting to see how useful this can be in the gameplay. Let's enjoy it. Use knock knock. What's knock knock? Oh, the grabber build on Leland's so fun. Yeah, Leland can get no cell as well. Stab all family of pro. <laughs> it's not too hard. It actually isn't too hard. Okay, let's jump into the gameplay as Anna with this interesting perk, which I feel like it has not many uses at level one. But level 3 can prove to be useful in some characters, like Anna, when her HP and damage reduction can be working to advantage for those large last moments where she usually can die under certain amounts of pressure. Now it's like literally impossible. That could be really fun to utilize. So let's enjoy this.
Follow me. You ain't gonna kill me, it's impossible. I'm going hunting. You're mine now. <laughs> Let's enjoy that. Nice stab. Nice stab. That's one. Nice. I thought he was going to try and hit me in some way. What is he doing? I'm going to stab him again. No, so close. No, he got it. Oh, dude, I'm disheartened. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> nah, ain't going there. I ain't going there. Yeah, heal up. And oh, I don't have extra grip on this build. Ah, it still works out. I'm so used to the meta perks, see? I can doubt it myself when I use different perks. What's that? So we stabbed low face twice already. I just have the rest now. Which is what I have to do. Or go to close counter. Either or. I should see what that is. These are bones. God. Who are these people? Uh grab, I gotta stab you. I gotta stab you. Oh shit, I'm dead! You know what? You know what? I had that in my mind that it was gonna happen, and I still went for it. Because what ends up happening when you when you get hit by someone, it pulls you towards their direction, and their UI comes up for a close counter instead of stabbing Grandpa. I knew it was gonna happen. I still went for it. Why? Who cares? I was having fun. Next one. <laughs> like I knew it was gonna happen, and I still did it. I still did it. If you on your channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join our Discord, code Lordy Game Subs, full 10% off, and btlmerch.com. Just for greatly appreciated. <laughs> Low face revenge, yeah. He got me now. I'm his now. <laughs> oh, God. That is devastating. It really is. I was kind of feeling the game, too. Well, we're gonna find another match now. Spend more time in the queue time lobby than actually playing the game. Love it. What I'm doing right now, instead of changing my builds completely, because there's some perks that we have never used, so double checking those perks will be really fun. But I have to adjust my builds completely, and I kind of hate that. Send me a jewelry tree. <laughs> I shall double check into it. Thank you, B. Uh, let me see. Oh, yes, yeah, so it jumps. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's on the left side, isn't it? Yeah, I see, I see. It's not too bad, actually. Using a build like that is quite fun. The thing is, I want to use that perk, must, be, must have been the wind, but the game doesn't actually encourage you to use that perk at all, because there's other mechanics that are easily more accessible and beneficial. So it sucks that there's some perks in the game that are just completely redundant, because you can't really use them as much. What's knock knock? What are you talking about? Let me see. What are you talking about? Knock knock. What is this? What game are we playing? <laughs> it's like knock knock. Is this a joke? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh god. 
Yeah, the, the loading screens are very discouraging. I can agree. I can attest to that as well. Like, I can completely understand. Yeah, there's no chicken perk. I was actually checking too. Well, I thought there was. Honestly, in my mind, it feels like there was a chicken perk. No, no. Oh, knock, knock. I've accepted all restraints. All basement exits are highlighted for 30 seconds. Why would I run that? I don't like that. I didn't know it was proficiency perk. It does nothing. It just, uh... Just understand where basement exits are, which is not the issue. For me, at least. No, I, I found it, I found it. Is it possible to escape without being seen at all? Yes. Uh, Thomas, the only way you'd escape that, you'd have to be perma-crouched the whole game. You know? You'd have to literally be perma-crouched Never get detected. Uh, it's because Cook, if you, if you stand up for one second, he's hearing you. And if you reach the end of the game, he can hear you constantly, no matter what. So those things there, you got to be watching out for. Oh, that was the... John, you are correct. Thank you, John. You knew the perk. That's the perk. It's it, At level 1 or 2, it only affects a Bone Shrines. And at level 3... Wait. Shit, am I thinking about the same perk? I swear, I know what perk you're talking about. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, it affects bone shrines, and then at level three, it affects, uh, affects chickens. That was the only one in the game. You were right. That's the only chicken perk. I forgot about it. Completely forgot. That would be a good perk to level up, maybe in time, as well. And that's not a bad perk, to, to be completely frank. That's a really good perk at level three. Level one is kind of shitty, but level three is really good. For the chicken aspects. Because that will be meta in the future. Like when they change the numbers again. Further and further. Uh, gameplay with chickens is going to be very interesting. Because chickens give away locations. And you have to use resources to stop a chicken. But it still gives away the location. Either way. Oh that's 2B. Yeah. There's, so is that jump scare and that at the same time? So there's two chicken perks. They're just built differently. They start off as bone shrines, and then they go into chicken perks after. At high levels. I thought so. You guys going to this? Play as Anna with this build right here. Very interesting. Somewhat aggressive and fun. What's the achievement, Scars? I wonder if I have it already. No, sadly, no new update. There was some previously for crossplay, but that's pretty much it. We're just testing out new perks and have a bit of fun. Who latched this door? Don't latch those doors. I don't like it. Come back to me, little face. Come back to me. There we go. Stabbed. You like that, don't you? You like that? Yeah, I thought so. Hey Justin, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Pretty chill. So a perk latch, uh, last ditch effort. My God, why is it so hard to say? That perk there. I was scared. What is it doing? I'm confused. Um, that perk there is really good for those moments when it comes to near death aspects. Better at level 3 than level 1, but we'll make it work either way. What is going on? You're crazy! Well done! That is crazy! Doors open too. I'll hop out. 
Oh, they're breaking doors. People are gonna die. I'll throw this light lamp on. It looks cool. <laughs> what someone died to that? Yeah, crossplay's back on. I might die to this. Yeah, let's get this bone scrap here over here. Am I dead? He broke the door behind me. The sound is affecting it. There we go. Oh, he hit that. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy hit that. The other one's a hitchhiker. This is going to be a hard one, isn't it? A <laughs> pro uh, door latcher now. Yes. It's in my blood now to use the door latches to my advantage. It's too good. It saves so much time. Oh, I'm through the ground. I, I broke his nuts, but I'm through the ground. Bye bye. Hey, let me get the bone scrap at least. Like, come on, what is that? He's got serrated shit. I didn't think about that. I might be dead. Look at my HP. I might be dead here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh, this is so bad. There's no way. As long as he thinks I'm up there, I'm pretty safe. Well, we may have lost this. Because I can't fight them. When they're bloody this controlling. Also, we used the last uh, ditch effort. It activated, see? It activated once. We got a burn scrap back at 10%. You can do this. Think. The meds didn't spawn there. Damn. That's open, yeah? I look, I see open. I'm free. I will go now. <laughs> oh, shit. Please be open. It is. Thank you. Shit, I might be dead. Did he open it? No! No! Come on! I was through it! I was through it! That is incredibly unlucky. Incredibly. Oh, dude. I was through it. What is the lag? Yeah, the lag's bad. I went through, but is that lagging? I'm going to get hit from a mile back. I even second-guessed myself if I could make that. Was the door even open? 
It wasn't even open, was it? What's with his reach? Yeah, it's laggy, that's why. Because on, on, on their screen, I'm actually behind. There's a lag. Even though I should have been safe there completely. Nah, there's no hacks. There's no hacks. Just lag. <laughs> hey, Dre, how you doing? Uh, it's, it's just lag, that's all. Unfortunately. Well, if you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lord of your game subs for 10% off as this player bleeds out right here in recovery state. And also, btlmerch.com. Show support, greatly appreciated. You're his now, I know, right? I've been taken. Great sissy, 1 out of 10. Uh, 7. 7. But that's sissy gameplay. Not sissy anything else, sissy gameplay. So, 7 out of 10. She's fun. Uh, initially, she was very fun because no one knew how to counter her. But now she's like, all right. And sometimes you can lose your game just by picking Sissy. So that's what's happening in the current meta. At this current time. Hey, Ghost, how you doing? Let's jump to the next one. And what about looks? I cannot confirm. <laughs> I cannot confirm. Isn't the actual uh, actor that's been uh, modeled after? Is she a model? That's what's the case. I remember seeing some TikToks, and so I was like, uh, she was like eating, and then there was like a weird caption, like after Cece kills you, this is what happens. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I died of laughter that one. Yes, but correct, correct. I try my best to at least. I try my best to. You see, Scars, don't sniff the farts. That's how you dodge that. Don't sniff the farts. <laughs> Any predictions on the build for Nancy are going to be, be like? Uh, lockdown. Lockdown character. A hybrid of a bit of movement and a bit of lockdown, like uh, Hitchhiker slash uh, Cook, but more Hitchhiker. Because they just be placed in areas where it is high traffic and there's only one doorway to escape and that door's already been biased through. Your trap's there, they have to eat the trap or walk backwards. And sometimes some zones when there's a crawl, um, crawl space, depending on how this works with family too, I don't have family get past this. Can family just walk through it and they don't get damaged? Because if family can still go through the, the trap set up set by Nancy, this will create this um, interesting dynamic where you can lock down certain areas and family members can just pass through. You know? So I don't know. It's very interesting. So I'm expecting a hybrid of those two characters. But more in the role of a cook slash Johnny than a hitch like it's, it's not gonna be a chaser. If it's a chaser, I'm very surprised. Because from what it, the way it looks and the stance of the character, she looks like a methodical character. Like you play some traps, take some time, have a lockdown, and then win from there. This is your first stream. Welcome. Dusty, welcome, welcome. Give it a good work, land. I shall, I shall. Thank you, thank you. I read the whole thing as well. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. If a family member goes through it, it, it breaks. Will you have to reset it? Oh, is, is that what it is? Well, that's going to be annoying as hell. I'm not going to lie. If that is the mechanic, the character is going to have a low pick rate because stopping rotations for family is a, a nuisance. Uh, this could be better, say, certain maps like Family House. You know where the upstairs areas are? Where the doors that you can break through and barge? Now you put a trap on each door. They can't really move as much. That would work there really nicely. Um, in main areas where there's high traffic for both family and victim, not the best. I think it's actually going to cost a couple of games. And depending how many of these you've got, that's another question too. So I don't know. And it looks like you're going to be fit through areas where door frame has been broken. Oh, sorry, no, the frame is still there, but the door's gone. Or a hallway of some sort. It does seem like you just place it anywhere. So that's another thing too. Being a victim that sets traps. I did say that. I did say that. I did say just change Sunny's ability tra to a trap ability. Because this uh, information perk doesn't really work on victims as much. And honestly, it kind of it kind of forces players to play really safe on Sunny. Where if you gave him a more of a defensive playstyle through the aspect of setting traps, that means he can rotate to certain areas where it's completely safe, but he can still move around and make things happen. You know? And be somewhat aggressive with, with the traps. <laughs> what tier would you put watermelons in? A uh, S plus. Watermelons, S plus tier. God tier. It's crazy. Easy C. Wow. C tier for watermelons? Damn. 
Damn, hot take. That's a hot take. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell am I even playing? Do you ever play this? No, I don't even want to play this. No, I, I made a mistake here. Ah, that's unfortunate. I wasn't paying attention. I was having great discussions. Yeah, watermelon's good. You can never go wrong. Unless it's the wrong season, then don't get watermelons because they taste awful. When they're off season. <laughs> but you remind me of that you know that watermelon video? Uh, video? The guy's like using a samurai sword and just stabbing the watermelon. That's what's going through my mind. The exact same video. Because <laughs> you mentioned watermelon two seconds ago, then that it just goes hand in hand. Yeah, I don't know. It, it came, came I, don't, I got no clue. It happens to me all the time, so it's going to happen to other people too. The real life fruit ninja. Yes, that is exactly it. So I want this character for the build, but if we don't get it, we gotta do something else. Oh, she's using the perk. Oh my god, this she's going basement. She's making basement. Wait, what the hell? She's doing the same thing I just did. This person watching stream, zero no. This person's doing the exact same thing I just built. I said run. Oh, never mind. She's making a different build. Never mind. She literally had that perk. And also, not the, uh, that perk, the jump start and slippery at the same time. And had a flex uh, perk, which was uh, off meta perk. In this case, the sad perk. Oh, this guy from the DBD. Yeah? B, that guy's a DBD player. Isn't he? Oh, he's gone. Oh, can't miss the DBD guy. You gone. Oh, that would have been fun. I would have punished him. <laughs> We're playing left face. I'll just keep stabbing him. Yeah, Rubber Boots is like a nuanced one. You know, you would have to like run like three hours of gameplay. I don't know. Actually, more than that. Maybe 10 hours or 20 hours of gameplay to get one example of Rubber Boots working. That's the hard part, because the character, the characteristics of robots only works at level one for running through a fence, like electrical fence. At level three, it has a bit of a nuance, which works with, with some other perks on the character, um, which is the gener like a generator build. You increase the generator cooldown, oh, activation time, but you can instantly activate it with rubber boots at level three. So that's the benefit there. This lobby's dead. Next one. Yeah, so I'm hoping that we can play Lords of the Fallen sometime soon. And also... Uh, what is it? Uh, Spider-Man 2. I really want to play those. There's other multiplayer games coming out too. If there's any games you want me to see me play, new games or old games, give me a heads up. Just say in the chat. All games that would be interesting, especially new ones more than anything. So, I'd love to know. Have you tried the Dracula Cook build? I have not. I have played Family from when? From like From like last time. It's been so long. And also taking a bit of a like a small break between streams on t t is maybe the, the best idea. Because I feel like this game, if I keep playing it the way I'm playing it, I'm just going to burn out. And it's because I've reached a point where I feel like I've done everything. Like now we're trying to get to more nuanced stuff, which is like using certain perks that we've never used before. So it feels somewhat interesting. Have you played Titanfall 2? Yes, I have. I played it they recently had another resurgence, but I played it before that as well. Great game. Especially when you control the, the mechs. 
getting the names right now. Insanely fun. Are they going to fix lobbies? We don't know. There's no um, indication of that. What's a burner perk? You mean like just a waste, like a waste of perk? Is that what you mean? Is that the terminology there? A burner perk? It only works with, I think it's the perk that it works with really well, Dusty, is Confusing Mechanic. You put Confusing Mechanic with Rubber Boots together, and they work kind of well, where it could be somewhat of a decent build, but I would not run Confusing Mechanics on Lurface, because Lurface is in the basement. So you would actually want to promote other players to use that instead. So it's kind of a weird thing with that perk. I don't get it. I really don't get why it's in the game. I get it, Trolley. Oh my god, he went, walked over the electricity, killed me, if there's a chance of that occurring. But I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that great. Hey, uh, Donald, how you doing? You feel pretty burnt out on TCM as well? I can understand. And you play half as much as I do? Yeah. <laughs> kind of bored of this game. I got to level 99. I got every character maxed out. Hard to keep playing this game. How do you stay engaged? That is the inter interesting part. Honestly, the way we stay engaged with the game currently is with our community, more than anything. We have discussions, talk about certain things, have some fun times like that. That seems to be the most important part, to me at least, to keep me engaged in the game. And then from there, we find on, like, nuisance, like, things that will be classified as a nuisance build. Like, I wouldn't use this at all. And you know what? I'm like, right now, I'm going to experiment and then have some fun with it. Because I don't care about winning games as much. I care about having fun behind it. You know? So, I'm cool with using a build like this, where I'll say last ditch effort. That perk there, in the first couple days, I'll say never use it. Because it doesn't have a benefit. But once you get that perk to level 3, it can prove to be useful in some way. Your mine and now character maxed out? No, I do not. All my characters are maxed. And even then, I don't feel like there's a necessity. It's like I'm just doing it because I can. Close being partner on Twitch. Uh, closer. We, we've, I think the only thing we need is uh, more mates to be watching on Twitch. That's pretty much it. And we should be able to be get, get partnered on Twitch. Yes, Pax, I have. I say live for like 36 minutes. 36 minutes in one game. What's the new perks? We're testing new perks. Like, essentially, essentially perks that are in the game that nobody uses. Or people think are dog shit. Or use them today and having fun. You run out of charm points? Glad to hear that. You can still get mods here and there. I don't promote them. Like, I had fun with them the, f the first day they were out, and then I started, I'm like, you know what, don't want to do this, because the game didn't feel the same. And honestly, even from that point there, the game was kind of getting stale, if I think about it. I, I keep things interesting by doing challenges and such, to make it more fun, and have some type of sense of progression beyond the game. But we just have to wait for something new to happen, honestly. Then every night, I make other people watch you with me. I'm glad to do that. Number one, I'm glad to do that. Number one fan. Love to hear it. What was game? Just the timing between games killed it for me? Yeah, that's true. X runner, I agree. I think just just the waiting. Like, look at this. I've already waited a minute. And I have no issue because I'm talking to the stream at the same time. But I'd rather be doing that in the actual lobby. And then even then, the lobby should be shorter. So I can just jump into matches continuously. So we can talk, have fun, and play the game. I don't want people to cheat on these game. I don't want people to cheat in any game. Just say simplistic mindset, I would say. The band aid perk, ah, uh, what is it called? Shit, um, second win. There you go. Love TCM, but they need DLC soon. I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, this it does work, it's a good perk. You could actually make it work. That, that um, Band-Aid perk. It has possibilities. It's not shit. That's sure. It's just good, but not OP. But if you get it to work in some way, you can make it really fun. Okay, so our build for Anna is on screen right now. With these perks here for the main ability. Grappler, choose for, uh, fight, and also last ditch effort as the perk that is going to help us in this gameplay. It's a new perk. We don't really use it ever. And it's once you get below a certain threshold, 10 to 30%, if that little three, 
who are rewarded with a bone scrap of one use at level one and goes up to the five uh, uses at level three as well. And the strength is at 50 up here to make those events even quicker with our build. And our skill tree looks like this. So let's enjoy it and have some fun here. They haven't adjusted any prices at all. Yeah, Hitchhike is becoming kind of crazy. I think many people are using the build that we showcased on the channel. That we theory craft with uh, all the mates on the channel on that, uh, that stream. I believe Brian was there as well. After that point there, it looks like many people are using builds on Hitchhiker that just slap. I, I actually can't breathe. It's suffocating against uh, a good Hitchhiker. You play your on build? Yeah, you can do that for sure. We jump to the actual gameplay, yeah? As Anna, let's enjoy this. We want Sword House. Should be quite fun here. I'm gonna try to stab our plays as well. TC was little on release, I kind of agree. This was a new experience for everyone. Everyone's enjoying it, vibing. And everything felt fresh. Now the game has a bit of an issue. We need more fresh content. That's pretty much it. Are we gonna win this? Tell me in the chat right now. Win or lose? I'd love to know. Why do it take so long? I think it's Shane. Can I sell him again? I can. Thank you. Hello, buddy. You missed me. Hello. Here we go, zip. <laughs> Another bonus scrap, that's one stab. Oh wait, I had 12 attribute points left? Ah, oh, damn it. My bad. Just, if I did misplace them, I would put them into endurance. But it doesn't matter, who cares. You put them into endurance or toughness? My bad for not putting them on. It's between streams. It happens. Come back! Don't leave me! Where's he going? What? What? You, you gonna climb up the ladder? You can try. My God, what is going on here? This is a weird one, isn't it? This is a weird one. Thank you for dropping me. Give me a bit of a nudge there, haven't you? Oh no! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Please, please, please! <laughs> How'd that work out? How'd that work out to his advantage? I didn't get that. I did not get that. That play was so masterful, which I am so shocked that it actually happened. It was like random RNG. I nearly died just then, by the way. I nearly died. It seems I've lost them. Like, I heard the guy above, but I didn't think it was going to happen instantly. I thought it was going to be on the outside. Oh, Perk didn't activate yet, because we had 10%. We didn't reach 10%, but we still have the chance to use it during the gameplay. Oh my god, what's up, Grandpa? Quiet. Right. This game is silly? Yeah, it can be. <laughs> Honestly. Grab a don't, don't look at me, man. Shank. Gimme, gimme. Who's chasing me? Nobody? I oh, scanned. I'm getting scanned. They know I'm here. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Nah, I'm going for this. Hey! <laughs> you got exhausted. And now he's getting abused. Destroy these nuts. See you later, mate. We're going. 
As long as I waste their time, yeah, it's all good. What? Hey, Cook, how you doing? Oh, please, please, please! It's not. Ah, oh, there we go. That go that was a good stand. That was a good stand. That stun saved me. No, 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 no! No, no, no! Why did they commit? Oh, oh, burn scrap. I got a burn scrap. So they chase me. I'm gonna go for the kill here. Either they chase me. I got my burn scrap back. So I can actually make something happen. How do they know to go down there? Like you wouldn't commit to that. I feel like that's a weak commit uh, commit play. Usually, I think no one would commit to that. These are bones. Oh, we survived the impostor right there. Those who grab her. I'm using all the meds, honestly. This is one of those games where I'm just going to use everything. Whatever can you use to survive. Try to fight me. I got my burn scrap from my large bitch effort perk. It's gonna save me some time. Nice. Get a stun here. See you later. Oh, she has a small loser. Oh, smart, smart, smart. Nice. And anytime she loses a close counter, she's gonna fight. There's a duration on it, but it's still gonna be very effective. <laughs> she dead now. <laughs> oh my god, she's getting abused. She's absolutely getting abused. <laughs> oh god. Eat that. See you later. Oh god, that's hilarious. What a match already. What a match. Pressure valve's turning on too. Oh my god, my, li my life just flashed before my eyes. Thank you, god. I'm okay. you want another? You want another? Okay. How does that have another, have another. <laughs> With a one-two punch. Boink. She fired it again. She got caught lacking. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm slowed. She has rubber legs. She's rubbing rubber legs. Rubber legs, rubber legs, rubber legs. Is it on? Oh my god, we gotta play. We have a play to make. We have a play to make. Please! No! I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead, I can't make it. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Are they rotating? I hear rotation. Is that level 5 or level 4? Still level 4? Oh my gosh, she's giving me a heads up! No, I don't want to die! Please! Please, don't do it! Don't do it! I'm running out of resources. I'm out of stamina, I'm out of stamina. I have no ability up. Oh my god. I get meds from here. I gotta get meds. I gotta get meds from here.
Don't scan, don't scan, don't scan. One v three, one v three. I got this. I got this. Mind step, Grandpa. Oh, pressure, pressure valve. I still have HP for my ability, so I can actually use pressure valve to escape. It's maybe my last play. I think they know about it too. Yeah, they definitely know about it. Shit. Do we go upstairs? Just run to the sword house? Run sword house. I think we just run sword house. It can't be padlocked. And if it's padlocked, I can maybe open it in time. Fully realize. All users a bait to jump back into basement for pressure valve. Either way, it's free pressure. Quick notice where I'm at though. Top of the CC, uh, DC doesn't happen on the server. That's huge damage. That is huge damage. I'm dead. Oh, my, my perk is trying to activate with no... Ch I'm dead. He's there. He's down there. He's downstairs. I heard him. I heard him. I heard him. No, Cook. I heard you. Wait, what? Wait, what? I wasn't in recovery frames. I still died either way. Oh, that was so fun though. That was so fun. I had a plan and I didn't think Cook would be down there. Cook was the only one until I heard it. Until I heard Cook being down there, I was like, ah, she already lost. Oh, it's so devastating. That is so devastating. GG, GG's. A lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. I don't even care. That's going to be highlighting the perk in action because it did activate and help us against that CC play. So, in majority cases, even if I died there, it wasn't that bad because you can see that my team escaped majority of them easily, too. Because I had majority of the enemies on me as I'm defending myself from them you know from the season player from the left face from the cook we're just constantly fighting surviving and just pushing through so using a build like this is a lot of fun and so much enjoyment can be had here and a clean 2000 points never seen that before that's clean that's clean so that's a great time that is a great time if you mates are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button follow us on twitch join the discord code lord of your game subs and also uh btlmerch.com show support greatly appreciate it gg ggs oh my god what a match what a match I think I'm down to test one more new perk of, of any sort. The easy one will be Sab more than anything, but maybe something else. Sab is quite easy to use. But it's still beneficial though, so either way, it's kind of interesting. What did you eat today? Um, honestly, just breaky, if anything. Go to peanut butter sandwiches. I'm writing the Brecky in the video title. Jesus. <laughs> and mango gelato. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. For Brecky. That'd be nice. That'd be very, very nice. Yeah, it's the go-to. Honestly, it's been the go-to for a while. Uh, what the hell is this video? I forgot what the video... Oh, there we go. I'm blank because I'm thinking about food now. Got me starving. Got me addicted to TCM. I'm glad to hear that. Enjoy, enjoy. Hopefully, you're having a lot of fun with it. You should have went through the barricade uh, where you stabbed the grandpa. Yes, I agree. 
So in my head, I didn't think I was going to take that much damage from low face. Keep that in mind. I thought I could survive it. But you were right. Maybe the better play there was going backwards and still surviving because it was going backwards there. All these perks are kind of meta. I just realized. What about on Julie? What about on Julie? Oh, well, nah. Can't do it. Let's double check what other perks I have active. Because I don't want to, like, read through my builds. Because I kind of like them. I actually found them to be very fun to use. Maybe second wind. We can use second wind in some way. It's not bad for movement speed build. You may have to flex it out for stun double. You just do this instead. Because honestly, you just keep on running. I don't see any negatives to it. Let's try it. Since he ran out of stamina, try and stab me. That's why. She stabbed me, she missed. So it would have been the better play to go backwards. I, I do agree. That was a mistake on my part. Yeah, toasted the peanut butter. That's the best part. Or heat it up in some way. That's crazy. It's actually gnarly. We'll make yogurt waffles. Put syrup on the one side. Peanut butter on... Okay, this is, is insane. What is this? This is insane. I'm being tortured right now. Making a noodle soup. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, God. Big uh, chocolate milk with syrup and peanut butter for our, our pancakes. That's nuts. Chocolate milk was great as well. I don't mind it. Always thought strawberry was goaded, though. <laughs> that was my thing. Oh, actually, banana milk. That was, that, that was goaded as hell. Is Vegemite good? No. Don't bother. It's a quiet taste. I, I'm guessing if you haven't tried it, you don't want to try it. What time is it for me? It is 5.30 p.m. TC and Bingo, that it is funny. I can't play it myself. Technically, it would be the mates playing it instead of me. Uh, wait, Pac said that. Was what? What TC and Bingo are you, are you speaking about? Like, what do you mean by that? I'd love to know. And the tell sandwiches, they're bomb as well. If everyone's talking about pizza and food, oh my god, I'm dying here. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> oh, it's that idea. No, no, you play until all those things that can't happen and you stamp them and get a bingo. Ah. So it's not. I thought it was like a viewing experience. Like, uh, the mates could watch and then from there, if something happened, they'll click on it. You know? It'd be kind of funny that way. If it happens or not. And who was there the whole time in the stream, they can say they got bingo. You know? Once they've completed everything. Or have seen everything happen. But I get what you mean. That's kind of... I get it. Oh, some other stream. I didn't know that. I had no clue. It's not a bad idea, B. It's not a bad idea. This might be the last game. So we're going to try and enjoy this. And try and enjoy this build and have some fun here. Oh, you're already done with TCM on that day? <laughs> when my stream starts, that's perfect. How do you turn crossplay? Crossplay is already on. But if you're on PC, you go to your options, game, and they'll come up here. Uh, crossplay enabled. But it should be turned on either way. Well, uh, whoever's donated donate to me can play one match. That would be a long list, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be a long time. But that could be a good idea too. So the mates can support the stream and we play a couple games with them. Not a bad idea.
Wait, Jay, did you wake up again? Do you like go to sleep and wake up? Is that what saying good morning? I didn't get to explain the builds, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Continues in Huerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen. Yeah, it's a good idea, B. Just one day, her donates, gets to play. It's not a bad idea. We may do that. We actually may do a day like that. I'm thinking about it. Not too bad. Now, jump into the action as Julie with a very interesting build with one of the perks on the very bottom. You can see it. It's a pink band-aid. You've never seen that being used. Not many people use it. It's kind of underrated, but it's actually pretty good. And essentially what ends up happening, anytime you're in a event where you can take damage, like what doesn't kill you, after a set time duration, in this case, I believe seven seconds, after seven seconds at level one, you get a return uh, benefit of Sanima. So you can actually be beneficial in the gameplay. And hopefully don't die. That's the best part. And on Julie, this is kind of cool. Because Julie can run a lot. And she runs out of cinema. Having a perk like that after getting a hit at any mo moment of gameplay could be very clutch. Any anxiety playing this game? Never. Absolutely never. What is he doing? Look at that. He's about to rev his chainsaw. Good shank. See you later, buddy. Uh, so we can continue here and just have fun. <laughs> Does it come back over here? He definitely has come closer, yeah. Enjoy that. Too long, too long. Can't do it. Not enough time. He's right there. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I didn't want Connie to die. In those time on delays between everything that can happen, you gotta keep in mind, oh, Connie died. I called out too. Was she like level one? Like, what, what happened there? I called out. Jeez. What's going on? This lobby, Halloween. Did they hear that? Well, the build's working wonders right now. Tell that. This is very good. We have a bit of a lower proficiency in this aspect here of the build because of high endurance. But it's alright. Not an issue when I need to run. Wait, who activated that? Was that below me or above me? That's crazy. This perk can work in any condition. It doesn't have to work on base and well. It can work in any way. But well, I think would activate as well. So you're taking damage. But I think it has to be damage from an opponent, I believe. We could be wrong. Could be wrong. Little two and grandpa. I think someone else is about to die or they're getting harmed at least. By their family. Still very, very safe. Surprisingly. Yes, there we go. Nice. No, no time. He called out low face. I heard I can hear low face.
The amount of L playing here is actually insane. Segwin activated. And Segwin only activates on enemy hit. Doesn't activate on well. So only on enemy hit. That's confirmation just there. It just happened. Okay. We've got some things open. Bring some freedom for myself. My team should have actually had an easy play here. Sure, yes. I got the fuse as well. Was the only door? Oh, this door's open. That means gas station's open too. Probably with all the time wasted, that gas station pressure is going crazy right now. Find out. Pressure valve. Interesting. But second wind, I'm just running through it. The second wind being so useful. This means just being annoying. <laughs> Turn over the generator on gas station. Who's ever done that before? Someone just died. It was Leland at Pressure Valve. I'll delay them. I'll delay them. Open the doors. Open the doors. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm delaying. I'm delaying, I'm delaying. Ah. There's no latching! There's no latch on that door! We out, we out. Oh my god. Does he know? He's breaking the obstacle there. I see him. And hear him. We're so safe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he didn't see me. I thought he saw me when he stunned me. But maybe he didn't see the notification. Oh, where's Sunny? Like they need to check through the door. Nice animation. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'll act like I'm opening the door. So, the thing with this build. Like, the main endurance perks helped out a lot from rotations, but second wind gave us enough time to leave basement really quickly and just depart. Like, it's nothing. You know? That's fun. That is fun. And now we can just leave. Like, it's absolutely nothing. Unless it somehow catches up, which I will be shocked. I shouldn't be that shocked, should I? <laughs> GG's, GG's. Oh god, I had to get the thumbnail before we left. <laughs> oh god, the build's great. The build is really, really good. Oh, that's where he is. Nice. Where's he going? This guy's got a very interesting build. He's running two stab perks and agitator. And I, don't, I didn't see him stab Rampa at all. So his build is just an insurance build. I like that. I actually like this build a lot. Thumbnail gameplay. Always make the better choice. <laughs> but that was us going crazy as Julie. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, Segwin is just useful for those moments when you do get hit. Maybe jumping the well, it doesn't feel as impactful when you get hit and then jump in the well. But that gave us enough time to rotate really quickly between objectives and get to the point where we felt more comfortable at that other obstacle or other location. Where we had Sunny open the door for us and we were stalling time against Loverface and got out easily. 
So that's something to keep in mind. The armadillo needs game stops. Yeah, to uh, keep him uh, revived in some way and survive the, the heat in Texas. <laughs> that's funny. If you made our new channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, Credit Audio Game Subs for 10% off, and also BTLMerch.com. Show us support, greatly appreciate it. GG's, GG's. That's insane. Julie, not too bad. Honestly, Julie is such a unique character where if it's like, oh, you don't want to move fast in the game because it doesn't really do anything. If you move fast and you know how to play the map, it's really nice. And I want to talk about something else as well. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. So what I want to talk about is that Sunny build that the guy had, he was running two perks with stat boosters, essentially. One was highly skilled, and the other one was uh, Stinky Pete. So essentially, when it ends up happening, he's increasing his base quality of his uh, weaknesses or his strengths in some aspect, being his proficiency and stealth. So he's able to open stuff easily, and be quiet, no one can ever hear him. So that's something to keep in mind. That is very useful for a sunny build because the base, like if you can play the game with no perks, it actually doesn't affect too much of the gameplay. I'm, I'm gonna say not too much because your base stats are actually very important. These attributes give you so much freedom to do whatever you want in the game. Like playing a game when you have uh, a character that has 20 or 15 endurance and that's all you have, the game feels impossible to play. Like, it actually feels impossible. You have to play so safe, so slow, and understand every bit of movement in the game so you don't die. Because when you get caught, you're caught and you're gone. So, that's that guy character's build was kind of interesting because he didn't result his perks as much. Like, they were just stat boosters more than anything to help out with his main attributes, so his gameplay is just way better. And he had Agitator just as an insurance if case um, Grandpa was feeding, getting fed uh, to a certain degree and making him busted OP that he can counter it. That seems like a good build. And thank you, B, for the gifted. The one gifted. To Brandon. Thank you, thank you. Glad to see the sport in every way possible. Stop watching ads. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that helps out. Oh, God. But yeah, I think uh, for now, I'm kind of happy with all the gameplays we've got today. Uh, I'm hoping for more content to be added in this game. We can go for more nuance and, uh, nuanced builds in the future. Maybe play with Jump Scare. As another build opportunity on the skill tree. Go in here with jump scare. You can use that. Have some fun builds. Create some just mean builds and have a lot of fun with it. Because it's all beneficial. They're just not the best. But it doesn't matter. At this point, I'm having fun. And that's all that matters. And I think the mates are too. If we all come to the point, we just want to have fun. No matter what. Now play a 5 more of TCM? No, I don't think so. <laughs> not, that, not, not, not that level of fun. <laughs> so I think it's be it for today. But expect some more gameplays in general on the channel from today's stream and prior streams. Um, I'm going to try to get some other unique gameplays in other games, if possible. And work on some of the short form, form content as well. That's my goal. Sometime during the week, hopefully. And also lead up to Lords of the Fallen and Spider-Man 2. So I'm going to try and get in contact with them and see what we can do. And if there's any possibilities to play it early, highlight some builds, I would love to do so on both those games. So we're going to find out and see what ends up happening. This was a fun stream. Glad for all the mates being here. Thank you for support, as always. I never take it for granted, so keep it in mind. And it means the world. It truly does. It truly, truly does. That's what we have for today. As always, mates, it's a pleasure. I'll see you, mates, next time.